Hello everybody, um, and today we are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to finish off this Lords of Chaos crap. Um, <clears throat> so, apologies from the beginning um, for making everybody read this. Um, it, it's, a, it's a good historical tome, but it takes a lot out of you. So, um, apologies up front for that. But first, I just want everyone to remember that Fingering the Mundane, okay, um, my new crowdfunding project, it is going to go live on Sunday during um, the live stream, which you should definitely come to. And if you just um, go over to... Um, there'll be a link for this in the description below. Um, you could watch the video, you can, um, like, find out when it launches, all that jazz, um, sign up for that, and that should be gravy. So, back to dude in wrinkled shirt he found in drawer. Oh, it's so wrinkled. Okay. So anyway, Lords of Chaos. Let's let's just let's just do this real quick. In reading this, I finished it last night. And I think what the problem of this book is um is that there are so many interviews in this book that it's almost as if the writers of the book were giving um, these horrible fucking people a platform to spout their horrible shit. So it's really, really awkward to read sometimes because of that. The other thing is, though, is if the author didn't do that, he would have had to um, just write this stuff out. And in doing that, he might not have been able to, um, really show how fucked up and just despicable a lot of the people in this book are. So it's, um, one of those things where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Um, I think it's just a a strange topic to go over because so many of the characters involved in this um, are just fucked. And once you get through um, all the stuff with Varg from Burzum, and then you get through um, the German stuff with Absurd, <clears throat> once all that's done... And you have this really great portion of the book that is just um, giving you the facts. Like, in Sweden, this happened. In Finland, this happened. And um, in America, this happened. And so that part of the book <clears throat> is fantastic. Um, and it doesn't have that same... Um, oppressive feel that the rest of the not the rest of the book because like the first four chapters of this book are fantastic and then from chapter 12 on the book is fantastic it's that shit in the that makes up the majority of this book in the middle that is just really really difficult to read like if you know varg is homophobic a nationalist a racist, and you know all this shit, like, I don't understand why we're, like, just beating a dead horse, you know, so, um, and again, it's just weird as you age, because when I read this first, like, three or four years ago, it was shocking, but I wasn't... I, I didn't feel physically um, 
weighed down by reading it. But reading it the second time, it's one of those books where it was a good read once, but you never need to read it again. Um, and I think that's what my problem is. Because some of you who are reading this for the first time might not feel any of that shit. But um, all of the historical timeline of facts stuff in this is just fantastic. But when it gets into um, actual interviews with some of these people, it's just like, why are you giving them space? Like, and I don't think the authors um, agree with anything that these people are saying, but it's just, um, I don't know. So it, it was interesting, but I'll never read it again. I'm pretty sure. And if I do, I might just cut out chapters 5 through 11. Um, and then just read the rest of this book. Or I will take 5 and 11 and cut out like a little thing for a flask so I could at least have a drink when I'm reading um, chapters 1 through 4 and 12 through the end of the book. So that's that. That was exciting, huh? Yeah. That's some good shit. So next month, the month of August, we are going to be reading um, Hunter S. Thompson's opus, I will say, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, A Savage Journey to the Heart of the American Dream. And if you are a part of my Discord, which I have been completely neglecting this month, I've had a lot of stuff going on, but I've been really bad at it. <clears throat> but if you are a part of the Discord, I will be putting um, a um, link in the group read section where you can listen to um, this book for nothing. And you should go buy it because it's a great book and it has a lot of amazing Ralph Steadman illustrations. But um, I will put the audiobook in there just so um, everyone can take part, even if you can't afford to do it. So um, that will be over on the Discord starting on August 1st. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So um, as far as that goes, um, that was Lords of Chaos. Um, subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment on the video, go over to the Patreon, sign up there for some cool shit, um, and then uh, get ready for Sunday for Fingering the Mundane. So, type hard everybody, Finger the Mundane, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.